what we hope to help do using the MDEC platform and using the government's platform is find things that work and how do we actually scale that? What are practical solutions? So I think we encourage a lot of tech talents to organize those community meetups, whether iOS meetups, whether the AWS meetups, Alexa meetup, and all those kind of things. So I think, let's say for us, we host it maybe one, two times a month. And basically, it's just not a top-down approach. Basically, encouraging the team to, in any community you want, you bring them in. And I think it's sort of like cross-learning. So Malaysia has a lot of really good raw talent for video game development. Uh, basically they have a lot of capability but they've never worked together on a team before. So I think what we have to do is be able to grab them, combine them and show them, hey here's how you play together. Think of it like football, right? You basically have great kickers, have great defenders, but they've never organized themselves to play as a team. And what we're looking to do is bring them, organize them and help them learn, here's how you compete so that one day you can play the World Cup. We used to have this guy who was um, working in Lao Yat actually, and he was selling PCs. So he came through a recommendation of a friend and he said that I want to have a chance to be a programmer but I don't hold a software degree, nor do I have a diploma, but I have the interest and passion. So we talked to him and we said that, um, do you believe that you can do it? He said, given the opportunity, I would cherish the opportunity and grow from there. And I would give 100% to the company. And sure enough, after five years, he was one of our lead architects. So that's a good example where we actually really um, treasure recommendations because people who recommend people usually they've known them for a long time as compared to looking at the resume and doing an interview for an hour that's very hard to judge. My CTO was actually a factory floor manager okay and uh, basically what we notice in the industry is that Many people are put into boxes based on what they study, but it is based on what you enjoy doing that you intentionally choose to flourish. So he stepped up, he actually approached us and said, uh, bro, I like what you're doing, you know, I have no experience in doing what you're doing, but I'm willing to learn. We gave him a chance and fundamentally he stepped up. So now basically we are the top APAC partner for Google handling analytics and we already have to handle 20 billion transactions every single day. There's no way we can do this manually. So although we have a 20-man team, we scale up by using AI and machine learning. So this can only be done if we allow people to pursue what they enjoy. Throughout the four years of uh, efforts, actually we have attracted uh, more than 3,000 creative talent to our platform to compete. And what we see the outcome is, after they gone through the few months competition and they really transform. And I see that, wow, this is something that's very amazing to know what is the industry one. Because what I see the challenge for the creative talent is they have a great skill, probably they learn from the university or college. But when they come to the industry, they don't know how and what need to be delivered. So we come into the pictures to nurture them and bridge up the gap between education and also industry by involve a lot of people from industry, especially from MDEC, and also the school, the lecturers, to have more bonding throughout this competition. To the talents, to the kids, to the young, uh, to the young so I, I would advise them to have uh, a more critical mind to be open about things to explore you know um, to create so you don't you know go anywhere to just uh, uh, learn you know i would rather create and things and imagine things you know explore the world I and mean, there's a lot of things that are happening right now because the future you cannot excel by learning the future belongs to those to the innovators to the brave to do the, to those that do crazy things who are not afraid of failure you know? and to the young one i urge them to do that At the end of the day, it's an orchestra. You know, you're supposed to play this beautiful music, but we have to actually write a symphony here and everybody needs to be singing from the same song sheet. <laughs>